Hey, good morning. Welcome to our environmental economics second chapter. In this chapter, we have to learn about environment and economics. What is environment that we have studied? What is economics that also we know? And we can interconnect these two environment and economics. So, environment economy linkage. Economics is the study of household management. Environment is the study of household of nature. Environment studies harmony relation between nature and man. Economy study general means disharmony with the nature. That we have already discussed in the first chapter due to human activity so many natural resources are degrading. So this disharmony, this relation is discussing through economy. In 1996, Kenneth Boulding in his classic paper, Economies of Spaceship Earth, Kenneth Boulding explained through in his paper, his paper name is Economies of Spaceship Earth. He explained for a change in our perception of nature of economy. He explained we should change our perception towards nature of economy, environment, interaction and of measuring economic success. He recommended that the time has to come to move from a throughout the economy to the notion of spaceship earth. He referred this economy is the cowboy economy. When we are not thinking about our nature, simply we are thinking on about our economy only, that concept is cowboy economy. In a cowboy economy, no limit exists on the capacity of outside to supply resource or receive waste. He stressed the necessity for a revision of cowboy economy to spaceman economy. We should think, we should aware about our space earth. Simply we are putting waste into earth. Everything will accept by nature, our earth. But we should change from this behavior. In a spaceman economy, the earth is viewed as a single spaceship without unlimited resource and without unlimited capacity to assimilate waste. There is no unlimited resources. You are simply waste, put waste. So, no, anything cannot accept a very waste. Every people should reduce waste, recycling waste and conserve energy. He argued not a quantity, but quality is the indicator of economic development. So quality of nature is the good mark of the economic development. The model of economy and environment interaction can be analyzed with the help of a diagram. There are producers, consumers, consumers means households and nature. So, producers are taking raw material from households. Households are purchasing product from producers. So, at that time, after making food, we are simply putting waste into the nature. Then after creation of the product, producers also creating waste and they also compost into the nature. So there should be, we should ready to recycle everything that is a good mark for the environment. So it is a cyclic process between households and the producers. We are putting procedures mean our waste into the environment. After making goods, producers also putting waste into the environment and that is again goes to the 
this vitamin if the waste material recycled it goes to the producers then if producers recycled their waste that also utilized to households this diagram shows environment supplies renewable and non renewable resources the environment assimilate waste by either absorbing them or dispensing them environment provides life support devices by maintaining ecological balance and genetic diversity environment provides natural reservoirs such as aesthetic enjoyment and recreation we can enjoy nature from the forest from the botanical garden from the seashore from the riverside every natural resources we can enjoy so nature give us aesthetic beauty conscious and we should protect them then environment has a necessity rapid environmental degradation that has been taking place all over the world in recent decades has alarmed economists and environmentalists alike most of the economists are now convinced that unless strong steps are taken to preserve environment the future is doomed our future will be black the danger is in developing economies especially in developing economy like india is that communities may in adversely as a result of ignorance or economic necessity damage to the environment has three potential cost to present and future human welfare it harms human wealth to reduce economic productivity it leads to loss of amenities so damage of the environment has creating so many cost to present and future human welfare it harms to pollute our earth so thereby our health problems will affect it reduce economic productivity without the quality of the land we cannot produce more it leads to loss of economic amenities then environment as a luxury according to some economists there is a conflict of sort between economic growth and protection the process of economic growth are invariably accompanied by increased level of pollution and environmental degradation it is said that since the developing countries have very low level of income widespread poverty unemployment high level unemployment they have no choice but to focus on economic growth developing countries like india mainly concentrate upon the development they are not thinking about the environment at the present level of their development focusing on environmental issues is a luxury they cannot afford it we are, now we are thinking the protection of environment is a luxury it is more costly so we cannot bear that charge as a discussion of some of the cost of environmental protection of given in a report as follows we should protect agriculture then we should think about industrial waste and emission then we should think about the cost of road transport water and salinity problem environmental protection involves huge expenditure in developing countries but these countries are simply neglecting and we are destroying our environment population and environment linkage population is defined as a group of individuals of same species living in the same area at a given time that we you have already studied in the population studies what is population different types of theories population density is expressed as a number of individuals of the population per unit area per unit of volume we have already studied birth rate or natality it is the number of birth per thousand of people in the population in a given year then death rate it is the number of death per thousand population in a population in a given year immigration means arrival of individual from neighboring population 
if any people are living here they are came from nagapattanam and now they are staying in karaikal that is immigration then emigration means it denotes dispersal of individual from the original population to new area and karaikal people are going to other place and they are leaving that area that is emigration now we have already crossed 7 billion and may have to reach about 10 billion by 2050 as per the world bank calculation causes of rapid growth of population it is due to decrease in death rate increase in birth rate availability of antibiotics immunization now hospital facilities are improved health facilities are improved so death rate also decreased then increased food production clean water air then decreased famine etc are reason to population growth then reduced infant mortality reduced famine then in agriculture based countries the children are required to help their parents in the field so to help parents children also ready to support the parents so population also parents is thinking to increase the population then decrease in death rate maternal death mortality rate then infant mortality rate as well increase in the longevity which are two primary factors for increase in human population already this concept you have studied in the population studies the increase in birth rate has not led to increase in the population okay let us today in the power session today we discuss environment economy linkage environment as a necessity environment as a luxury and population growth and some concept related to population okay if you have any doubt please ask me thank you